I have begun making my dream game. I'm calling it my dream game because that's a trope among dev YouTubers and it might get me views. My dream game is what I have dubbed Orchestralis. It is a combination of the word orchestra and the suffix opolis, which is used to denote a city. I didn't use the full suffix though, because Orchestropolis gives me way too many pop tropica vibes, and that is something I want Orchestralis' mental association to stay far away from. Orchestralis is... Hold up, let me get my script from the previous video, link in the description to views. A single player 2D top-down, open world, non-linear, dynamic, political action adventure RPG. Oh, okay, let me simplify that. <laughs> Orchestralis is a non-linear action-adventure RPG in an open, instrument-based world where you create your own story. Yeah, that's right. I know how to copy and paste. For those of you who aren't coming from the Tuba Warriors community, uh, which probably about two of you, allow me to explain instrument-based. Uh, back in the summer of 2020, a few videos went viral on YouTube. These videos were videos for boss battle style music, and they were named Tuba Boss Themes after the images used consisting of people wearing instruments. <laughs> Naturally, uh, more and more people joined in and BAM, by August, there's over 400 themes and a thriving community spread out over comment sections, Reddit, I guess, and a newly created hub and Discord server, dubbed the Tuba Warriors Community. Being literally boss themes, this world of instrument people was prime material for being assembled into a game, and oh boy has it! Over 20 projects have been featured in the Tuba Warriors community, albeit they haven't exactly all survived, but they prove just how loudly Tuba boss themes scream a video game. Now, like those over 20 projects, I too have been inspired by the tuba boss themes. So, I have the game in my head for two years, in fact Jesus Christ it's been two years, and it's finally time to bring it to life. To make Orchestralis, I'm using the Godot engine, but it's been a year <laughs> since I've used the Godot engine, so it's gonna be a slow start. After finagling with various nodes for a bit, and figuring out how to import images without anti-aliasing, pro tip, uncheck filter underneath flag, I got a player. A little bit about the sprite I'm using. This here is artwork I made back in October of the Tuba Knight, one of the star characters from the original Tuba Boss themes. I posted it along with a, a little character lore in the Tuba Warriors community. Go check it out if you're interested. That's in order. Now, while I do have a player, I can't exactly do anything with it. That's where programming comes in. PROGRAMMING. Now I have a movable character. But where's this character gonna stand? It ain't God, that's my job! So we gotta give it a floor. Art time! So, this is how the floor is gonna work. I'm gonna make what's called a tile set. The way tile sets work is that they're basically just squares that I can paint on the screen, and make levels really easily with. It took me a while to figure these out too. I couldn't be bothered to make an entire tile set though, so I'm just gonna make one tile for the floor and just have it repeat. A lot. Now, with this, I have a character that I can move and a place for the character to stand. Now I just need to make a game, and I'll have a game. So, instead, I'm gonna make some character templates. What I'm doing here is making some new character templates. I'm making them so that they fit in a 24 by 48 pixel box, which matches the 24 by 24 pixel box I chose for the floor tile. Uh, this will mean that I'll have to redesign Tuba Knight, the sprite I'm using now, 
since it's slightly too big, but it'll be worth it in the end. I'm making four templates, sized small, medium, and large thin and large wide. I differentiated between large thin and large wide for the purpose of differences between instrument sizes, such as brass and woodwind. You know, tubas are a lot wider than clarinets. Later on, I'll have to draw the templates in all eight directions, so I can make characters in all eight directions, but just one direction will do for now. Now, going back to what I said earlier, now, while the time lapse is still going, uh, going back to what I said earlier, yes, there has been over 20 projects in the past two years, and yes, in my current position, I am just another drop in the ocean. Uh, it doesn't help that <laughs> The scope that I have is kinda big, and I'm only one person. Uh, that doesn't help at all. But I'll, I'll be here a while. So uh, come back in five years, and I'll be here. Probably still working on orchestrales. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, actually no, don't do that. Instead, you should watch my videos now and subscribe and uh, give me views now so I can make mass amounts of money from your current procrastination instead of your procrastination five years from now. <sighs> With that said, I'll see you in the next one. I swear to God, you better subscribe. That number better get big.